Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve these two problems uh, which are related to this figure. And the problem says that the first problem says that the two megagram concrete pipe has a center of mass at point G. If it is suspended from cables A, B and A, C, determine the average normal stress developed in the cables. The diameters of a, B and A, C are 12 mm and 10 mm respectively. So first of all, we are given this pipe which has a mass of 2 megagram and it is supported by this A, B and A, C and we have to find the average normal stress in both of these wires and the diameters are given. And in the second problem, the same pipe is supported by these two cables and we are given that um, we have to find the diameter of this cable AB if the stress in both the cables remain the same and the diameter of AC is given. So both the problem are somehow the same, right? So there, are the la in the last step, there is some difference in solving the problem. So we will consider both the cases, right? So this is case number one. So for case number one, um, if I consider a force here at A, let's say that we have some P force at A which is acting vertically upward, let's say, and the weight of this pipe is acting vertically downward. So this is the weight, right? So if we consider this whole uh, system and then if we apply the sum of the forces in the Y, so if we apply the sum of the forces in the Y, that must be equal to zero, upward direction is considered to be positive. So we have P force which is in the positive Y and we have weight in the downward direction. So this is equal to zero and from this we can say that P is equal to weight. So this means that the hook and the cable which is which is at point A is supporting all the weight and these two cables di just distribute that weight, right? So we can say that this P is equal to W. So now, as you guys can see that if, if, if this is at rest, then this point A or we can say this uh, joint A or the hook is in equilibrium. So if it is in equilibrium, then the sum of this force plus this force plus this force this must be equal to zero since this point A is in equilibrium. And if the sum is, is equal to zero, then by head to tail rule, these three forces must make a close triangle. So we can say that the force in cable AB must be acting like this. Then we can say that the force in cable AC must be acting like this. And we have that force P which is equal to weight. So if we aid them by head to tail rule, so if I take this is, this is the force in AC, this is the force in AC, we can say FAC. Then if I place the tail of this on the head of FAC, so you guys can see this is FAB, right? We can say this is FAB. And if they are in equilibrium, then they must make a closed triangle. So we can say that this is equal to the weight. The weight is that force P which is equal to the weight this must be acting vertically upward, right? So we have, this will be our uh, diagram, right? So now this is that weight. Now we have to find FAC, we have to find FAB and the weight is given, we can we can find the weight. So the weight is equal to mass times G. So, so we are given the mass in grams, which is two megagrams. So we can say two multiplied by 10 raised to the power three, we can split that megagram, right? So this is 2 into 10 to the power 3 to the power 10 to the power 3 grams, right? So we can say that this 10 to the power 3 is kgs, right? So 2 into 10 to the power 3 kilogram, right? So we can say that 2 into 10 to the power 3 kgs multiply by 9.801. So we can say that this is 2 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by 9.81 this gives us 19620 newton right so the weight is given which is 19620 newton now you guys can see that this fac is making 45 degree so it is making 45 degree with the vertical so we can say this angle is 45 and this fab is making 
30 degree with the vertical layer. So if I draw a line here, so if this angle is 30, then this angle is 60. So we can say that this angle is now 60. And if, if this FAC is making 45 degree here, then it is making 45 degree angle here as well. And this angle is 90. So if this is 45, then this is 45. So we can say this is 45. And similarly, if this, this is making 30 degree angle here, then this angle is 30 as well. So we can say this angle is 30. So 60 plus 45 is 105. hundred and five degrees now you guys can solve this by resolving uh, this FAB into its components and by resolving this FAC into its components and then adding the forces in the X and, and then adding the forces in the Y but in that case you guys will have two equations and two unknowns and then you guys will will solve uh, two equations simultaneously but if you guys solve it like this by making a closed triangle, it makes your life easier, then you can apply the sine's law to find FAB and FAC. So if I apply the sine's law, if I apply sine's law for FAB, then we can say that FAB divided by the sine of the angle of, of the opposite side. So the opposite angle is 45 degree. So we can say sine of 45 equal to the weight and which is 19,620 divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the, so the opposite angle to the weight is 105. So we will take the sine of 105. So from this we can say that FAB is, we can say FAB is 19,620 multiplied by sine of 45, multiplying both sides with sine of 45 divided by sine of 105. So FAB, we can say FAB comes out to be 14,362.84 Newton. And similarly, we can apply the sine law for FAC. So FAC divided by sine of the opposite angle. So opposite angle to FAC is this 30 degree. So sine of 30 equals to again the weight divided by sine of the opposite angle to the weight. So sine of 105 degrees. So now we can say that this will be sine of 30. So FAC is equal to 10156.06 Newton. So now we got FAB and FAC. Now we are asked to find the average normal stress. So the average normal stress in AB will be, we can say that the average normal stress in AB will be equal to FAB which is 14,362.84 divided by the area of AB which is pi divided by 4 and dia of AB. So dia of AB square, so here it is said that the diameters of AB and AC are 12 mm and 10 mm. So we can say that the dia is 12 mm, right? So 12 mm 12 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.012 square in meters. So we can say that 14362.84 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.012 square. So this gives me we, this gives me 127 approximately. If we shift the decimal place um, 6 digits to the left, so we can say that the average normal stress in cable AB is 127 megapascal. Similarly, the average normal stress in AC is equal to FAC. So FAC is 10156.06 divided by pi divided by 4 and the dia of AC is 10 mm, so which is 0 0.01 zero right so 10 10 divided by 1000 0 0.01 right so this is equal to so we can say 10156.06 pi divided by 4 multiply by 0 0.01 square so this is 
we can say 129.3, uh, so we can say 129 approximately in megapascal. Till this point, this is the solution of this case one. Now in case number two, again, the same pipe, the same mass, everything is given. So till now, till here, the solution will remain the same, right? So now we can say that, uh, let me delete them. And now the problem says that uh, determine the diameter of cable AB. So for, you can say problem 156, we have to find the diameter of cable AB. If the average normal stress developed in this cable, we can say that the average normal stress in AB is the same is in the 10 mm diameter cable AC. So we are given that the average normal stress of AC, both of them are equal. So we have to find the dia of AB. So now we can say that this average stress will be equal to FAB. So if AB, again we know that FAB is 14362.84 divided by the area of AB which is pi divided by 4. Now the dia is not known, right? So we can say this is DAB square and this is equal to uh, the average stress in AC. So now AC, we know FAC which is 10156.06 divided by the area of AC, so which is pi divided by 4 and again this is 10 mm, right? So 10 is 0 0.01 square. Now you guys can see that uh, this pi by 4 will cancel out. So let me cancel this and we want to find uh, this DAB, right? So if I multiply both sides with this, so we will have this and this, right? So we can say that DAB square will be equal to 14362.84 into 0 0.01 square divided by 101. 56.06 and if I take the square root on both sides of equation we will be able to find DAB. So we can say that this is equal to 14362.84 into 0 0.01 square divided by 101 56.06. So DAB is equal to 0 Eight, nine. This is in meters, right? And if we multiply it with 1000, then we will get the answer in mm, right? So this is equal to 11.89 mm. This is the dia of that AB wire. So if we, if we want to have this, the average normal stress in both the cables and both the wires, then we must the dia of AB must be 11.89 mm. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.